Welcome back to Lumwifa Classic. And finally, an update on the Barn Find S type. Not only is it outside, it's gonna get its first wash in maybe 30 or 40 years, or who knows how long. And also, it's gonna be the first car to go into the new workshop. The day has finally come that the S type is out of storage and ready to go into the new workshop. It's been stored in that building over there where you see the white XJ12, so that's where you've seen videos of it. But from now on, all the videos of this car and the restoration is going to happen in the new workshop. The workshop is not done yet completely, so you're not going to get a video of that yet. That will be a future video, but it's well completed enough to get cars to go in there. And also that will help a lot in the last steps. Since I haven't had any cars in there, I don't really know what it looks like with cars in there. So when I put this car in there, I can see where I want to put shelves on the walls so they won't be in the way of maneuvering when you want to drive around, or not drive around, but just maneuver cars around in there. So now, I got the hose out here. Let's see what it looks like when it gets a little cleaner. I've attempted to minimize the leaks by taping up the sunroof, but that didn't go so well since I put a bunch of wax oil all over the car to minimize surface rust. So the tape didn't really stick on there. So I'm expecting the interior to get a little wet, but that doesn't really matter. The interior is going out of the car anyways, and I can dry it off once it gets inside. It actually came up pretty nicely. As you saw, I used a towel to wash the cars just because I didn't want to use any of my washcloths or anything that I use on the nice cars. On this one, I used an old towel that I could throw away because it was extremely dirty, this car. And I thought there was no way I could reuse anything that I've used on this car. But it actually, the chrome actually shines on it again. It doesn't look too bad. I think we'll have a look inside and see if it actually leaked anything. I'm expecting it to because I'm going to replace all the seals, but actually the sunroof didn't leak. That's really good. And I can't see any... Well, there's a little bit of wet. This. No, that's actually just paint. That's pretty amazing. It actually didn't leak into the car. It hasn't even leaked in back here behind the rear screen. And the front screen too. Nothing is leaked in here. Wait, now if I remember, when I was driving this car home on the trailer, it was about a 14 hour drive home. It was raining about half the time. And the car wasn't actually wet inside when I got home, which was really weird. So maybe these old seals, even though, I mean, I am gonna replace them because, uh, let's see. They're in terrible shape. Well, actually, they're not that bad, but I mean, they're completely flat and... But I guess they're still watertight. That's really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna hook it up to a tractor on the other side of the building. And the next time you see this car, it will be in the new workshop. And now the S-Type is finally in the workshop, and that's a huge step. 
still needs to go a little bit to the left and a little bit more back, but I will do that another day because I'm completely tired from pushing this thing. It's quite, quite heavy to push. That's it for the update of the S-Type. It's in the workshop. We're ready to start restoration. That will happen now in the fall. So stay subscribed to the channel if you're not already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos and follow along in this restoration. There will also be a video soon showing the whole workshop when it's done. I'll do a whole tour and go through all the parts of it, but that will also come pretty soon. So until next time, I'm Adam, and this was a little bit of a classic. I'll see you soon.